Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday, September 9th. Uh, this will be your full length reading on YouTube under Tasha's Divine Guidance. If you're interested in a private reading, you can send me an email and I will forward the information to you. So let's see what advice we have for today. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what advice do you have for the viewers today? Like you guys are standing in your empress energy, male or female. You are being empowered, learning to trust the divine, knowing um, your value, your worth, who you are as a person, which is bringing in the stable offer that you've been waiting for. So it's been a long time you've waited for this stable offer to come in. You are highly intuitive. You're listening to your intuition. Um, you are no longer relying on anyone but the divine. And that's what's calling in this King of Pentacles. This can be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this person can be a little older than you, but of course it doesn't have to be. This person is coming into your life to bring victory. You know, this is fi finally allowing you to drop this imbalance from the deception in your past, ending all of the pain physical, spiritual, and emotional pain that this past energy caused you, you finally releasing it. Um, no longer looking over your shoulder, no longer worrying about the past um, because you've been given the knowledge that your life is meant for bigger and better things. So there you are waiting for your ships to come in. You will be celebrating when this soulmate comes into your life. This is going to make you so happy because it's finally a union that is in, in alignment with who you are spiritually. You are coming out as the queen of wands, spiritual, loving, kind, grounded, very driven, independent. And this love is a wish fulfillment. It is going to give you complete emotional fulfillment. Um, the wheel is turning in your favor. Finally, this is a faded union that is meant to happen in exactly this time in your life. You know, the karmic soulmate with this controlling, dominating force that you had in the past, you had to endure this in order to find your peace, find your balance, to find love of self. Um, you may receive communication from this past person because you've already done the healing work and they see that you're in your power. Um, you know, you guys know what it is. This person is in low vibration, self-centered, egotistical, uh, player energy that only made you feel like an option that deceived you. So don't fall for this game of someone trying to return that only used you, that never gave you the love that you deserved. They're just wanting to uh, benefit from your energy now. You have a passionate new beginning in your life, and this passionate new beginning starts with you placing your focus on, on yourself, working on yourself, working on your creative endeavors, not worrying about past energy, not worrying about anyone that will deceive you. You've been in hermit mode, self-reflective mode, receiving guidance from the divine about your life purpose. And that's what's calling in this brand new beginning in your life and love. This is the king of cups, okay? This person will be very emotional. Uh, they will give uh, spiritually to you, emotionally. They will show affection. This will help you to release the anxiety and worry of the sleepless nights, um, wondering, will I ever be loved? Of course, everyone has someone that they're meant to be with, okay? It's just you have to learn your lessons in order to be energetically aligned to receive that kind of love. Um, you know, you are the world. For some of you, you're going to be traveling, okay? And this is really helping you to go through this healing process and find inner peace. You having the confidence um, to really seek your own um, healing and taking risks 
that maybe you wouldn't have done, maybe traveling on your own, doing things that you would have never done before is giving you this confidence and self-awareness that you didn't have. Yes, you have been deeply wounded, but you're starting to take the reins and just take this leap of faith and move forward in a way that's really giving you this, this beautiful confidence in you is all I can say. This is really going to make you feel so confident. This passionate offer that's coming in is going to be grounded and stable. It's going to come in pretty quick. Um, you will take a leap of faith with this person. This person is very loving and passionate, independent and driven and spiritual. This person will not leave you out in the cold. They won't abandon or reject you. This soul wants to be with you. You know, their soul wants to be with you. And it, this is going to take you out of a period of feeling sadness. It's going to bring you into a period of peace in your life when the soulmate comes in. Um, you know, the divine is saying continue to focus on your own inner balance and know that this is meant to happen. This is your good karma. This is what you've asked for and this is what you deserve. And it is coming. This is you loving yourself, listening to your intuition, holding on to anything you create and no longer giving your energy away to everyone. You're not doing it anymore. You're releasing this pain of the past, this horrible suffering that you endured. You're releasing this toxic person, this toxic energy that doesn't serve you. You have no tolerance anymore because you received truth and clarity from the divine who told you to get moving. This person's not in alignment with you. And this is giving you your strength and your power. You standing in your masculine sword energy, cutting away anyone and everyone that's not in alignment with you. This love coming in is justice. This is your justice for all that you've endured. You are coming out as the lady of luxury, being guided by the divine, straight towards your wish fulfillment. Defending you, what you know is right for you is leading you right to complete happiness, okay? This person from the past will probably come forward and apologize because they feel they feel stuck, trapped. So you may very well get an apology from them. They're at a crossroads because they know what they lost was their Ten of Pentacles. And they know that you're in your sword energy. You don't need them and you don't care. You have divine love coming, okay? And um, it's going to allow you to drop this burden and it leads to marriage. It is a stable offer, a wish fulfillment that initiates the, the end of this healing process for you, okay? Your past person does watch you. They've been watching and waiting. They're having a tower moment because they see how amazing you're doing. You're grounded, you're stable, you're secure. You see through bullshit and lies. You, you know what this person did to you. You know, you're manifesting a true divine counterpart in the end of this cycle, and that's what's coming in. This person's conflict doesn't affect you anymore. Their drama doesn't affect you because divine love is headed your way. So you're not triggered by this person anymore because you just don't care. All right, guys, I'm going to pull a few from the other deck and see what comes out. Okay, so what I'm getting is this toxic person from the past is now, they're filled with so much confusion. There's nothing but illusion in their life. They've been forced into self-isolation. They've received truth and clarity from the divine. They are so imbalanced and the divine is having them self-reflect. That is, The divine is showing them their imbalance is because of their own um, choices, being in dark energy. Um, the divine is trying to transform this person to wake up. This person is filled with so many negative thoughts. You, on the other hand, are just completing that cycle. 
you're just you're completing the cycle and you know you're listening to your intuition this person is is so filled with regret but you you're listening to your intuition and you know it's time to move on and not sit in pain anymore because yes you did receive perfect clarity from the divine You know, you allowed your ego to die so that you could invest in all that makes you happy. Creative endeavors that your heart is drawn to invest in. And it is going to be recognized. All of the love that you put out is going to be recognized, guys. Yeah, you standing up for yourself. You not taking anything from anyone. You not being manipulated anymore for someone else's gain. Yeah, two cards of being in your power and standing up for yourself. You know, this person from the past, this toxic energy, this is the narcissist. I'm not talking about anything else but this narcissistic energy right at this moment. They're filled with sleepless nights. They're stuck. They feel trapped. All they're doing is trying to work themselves to death so they don't have to heal. But the divine is reminding them of the love that they did not accept. And now they're at a crossroads in a state of confusion, not knowing what to do. This is their lesson, guys. We can't feel sorry for them. We can't worry about it. You have a soul union coming in that's going to bring you your Ten of Pentacles. Someone that will build a stable foundation with you that will love you just as you deserve. It is a wish fulfillment. All right, guys. I love you. I hope this reading helped you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.